Let's hear more now about how relief groups are approaching this disaster with the perspective of a coordinator who has organized responses in previous crises. She's Susan Mangiacaro. She heads up that effort for the International Medical Corps, a nonprofit group of volunteer doctors and nurses who deliver emergency health care and other services. She joins us from Orlando via Skype before she heads to the Bahamas. Susan Mangiacaro, thank you so much for talking with us. First of all, tell us what your organization, in a nutshell, what it does in these situations. Hi. Well, thank you for having us on. International Medical Corps provides emergency disaster relief and humanitarian aid across the globe. And in the situations such as we have with Dorian, where a disaster strikes an impacted area, we work cohesively with the government and the um, affected area and provide and coordinate for medical care to be delivered in the most impacted areas. So at this point, uh, what do you know about what the need is in the Bahamas? Well, very early stages, and there's um, a bit of a lack of communication at this point in time. However, we do know, as most are aware, the island has been dramatically impacted. Most healthcare systems are non-functioning uh, with minimal uh, support. So ourselves, as well as several other agencies, are coordinating to be sure that we can provide the relief with doctors, nurses, and healthcare supplies in the most impacted areas. Are you confident at this point that you're going to be able to get into the Bahamas? Yes, we are. We're working both with um, public and private organizations. We have a flight scheduled tomorrow for a per six-person team, doctors, myself, um, medical coordinators, as well as logisticians to fly into NASA. From there, we'll work with uh, the coordinating agencies and the government of the Bahamas and work to go to the most impacted areas, either by boat or um, private flights or commercial flights when available. We were just speaking uh, on the news hour with our correspondent uh, who's in Nassau, who was telling us about the bottleneck there. He said there are so many uh, relief agencies, other individuals there who want to get uh, the help, the food, and other uh, material they have out, but they just don't have a way to land on places like Abaco because the water is still very high. Yes, absolutely. And that's why we work cohesively under the direction of the government, both with local and international agencies to coordinate care. Not uncommon initially, um, this happens often in impacted areas uh, by flood or tornadoes, hurricanes, and you, we coordinate effectively so that we make sure we're bringing resources as quickly as possible. It often takes a little bit of time to get into the area, as you mentioned, with um, airports being underwater, but eventually we're able to coordinate efforts through um, private and public organizations who donate um, uh, resources to get us to where we need to be to take care of the people that need the care the most. So your doctors and nurses uh, will literally be trying to get to individuals in need, whether on Abaco or Grand Bahama Island or somewhere else? Yeah, initially, as um, I mentioned, we'll fly into NASA and determine where the greatest needs are, working in conjunction with the government. And then we'll determine um, by assessment, we have uh, our assessment team going out to see where the greatest needs are, where the greatest impact is, and where we can distribute resources effectively. As I mentioned, we've been in contact already with several different agencies that have um, boats to kind of bring us to the various different islands um, and, and be sure that we're safely bringing our staff, who will be self-sufficient, into regions to take care of those that are impacted. And just quickly, do you try to set up clinics where you go, or can you just work basically in a very limited uh, uh, set of circumstances? Yeah, we can do just about anything. We have the ability, and we've offered the ability to set up a clinic seeing 100 patients a day that's self-standing. We can set up mobile clinics. We can send, send small strike teams. We're very flexible because we're accustomed to doing this. This is what um, we do. We deal with disasters all the time, so we have the flexibility to be totally um, independent running a clinic that's self-standing or have mobile teams go out and, and try to see and treat patients where, they're, they're, um, where they happen to be in their locations. Susan Mangiacaro with the International Medical Corps. They are planning to go into the Bahamas tomorrow. Susan, thank you very much, and good luck with all you're doing. Thank you so much.